The media are so damn predictable. If you turn on the news at any given time, chances are they'll be in the middle of attacking and demonizing Trump, Republicans, conservatives, or right-wingers. If they're not doing that, then they'll almost certainly be defending Democrats against criticism and inciting outrage over their critics. They did it with critics of Rashida and Omar, and now they're doing the same thing with Nancy Pelosi. But don't worry, the media is filled with objective defenders of democracy who don't have a partisan bone in their body. I don't have the words for this. I've been here for 30 years. He comes back uh, with his, not only with his stable genius line and goes after her. So in case you haven't been following this story, let me get you up to speed. What happened here is that Trump tweeted out a 100% legitimate compilation video of Pelosi stammering and sounding like an idiot. On the other hand, Rudy Giuliani did tweet out a video of Pelosi that was slowed down to make it sound like her speech was slurred. There were no professional tactics involved here. They literally just slowed down the video slightly. Can you just explain how these videos even work? How it's possible to make these? Since then, the media has been losing their minds and they've been trying to conflate the two tweets, suggesting that Trump is the one who tweeted out a quote doctored video. This is what Trump tweeted out. Uh, long took a little longer on the floor. The custody, custody of the border, of the border. Everyone, uh, he started making, sending signals. Oh. Working together to, to uh, make pass that. Not to, uh, if we where where the fat. We, there are three things. There are three things. There are three things. There are three things. This video was not doctored in any way. It is not the same video that Rudy Giuliani tweeted out. That doesn't matter to any of these hypocrites, and while they pretend to be morally outraged, they themselves are lying and deceiving their audience. They clearly want people to think the video that Trump tweeted out was doctored. They just see this as yet another opportunity to try and silence their opposition once and for all. Uh, there's a way to win a campaign without doing that. It's one thing for a foreign government to be, you know, injecting themselves in our elections, but it's another thing to see it espoused by the president. <laughs> keep it together. Just keep it together. Just keep it together. I'm, I'm not going to explode this time. The bigger concern, you know, that Lisa and, and Michael were talking about is, is people who don't know that it's not real. People who don't know the difference and who believe that these are accurate depictions of politicians. <laughs> Where the hell does this hat get off pretending like this is so out of the norm when his network reported and tweeted out doctored video of Trump on at least two different occasions? CNN and its reporters took video of Trump calling MS-13 gang members animals and deceptively edited out the portion where he was asked about MS-13 so that they could then nefariously claim that he was talking about immigrants. Not only did this happen already once back in 2018, but then they tried peddling the same lie again in 2019, recently, just a few months ago. We have people coming into the country, or trying to come in, we're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country, you wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people, these are animals. And we're taking them out of the country at a level and at a rate that's never happened before. There could be an MS-13 gang member I know about. If they don't reach a certain threshold, I cannot tell ICE about them. Yeah. We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. And they did the exact same thing with footage of Trump's press conference after what happened at Charlottesville. They removed whole portions of that press conference, like where he condemned the neo-Nazis and he explained his support for the people that were defending the historical monuments. They then proceeded to only show the quote where he was talking about good people on both sides and claimed that he was referring to white supremacists. In both cases, CNN and other media outlets knowingly doctored video and spread it. How completely ironic is that? While the Democrat activist lectures about fake video and misleading people, she's actively lying and deceiving the people that are watching her. It's almost too much for the mind to accept and process. How could these people be so deluded and so unaware? The answer is, they're not. 
They're literally just repeating the talking points that were put out by Nancy Pelosi's office. They're doing their jobs as a Democrat PR firm. This is jarring. A doctored video that attempts to make it look like Nancy Pelosi is slurring her speech. Crudely edited videos, doctored. It's, it's incredible. They're doctoring videos. Doctoring and the president videos. is sending around doctored videos. And that doctored video. Peddling a doctored video. Tweeted out a doctored video, completely manufactured, falsely a doctor, 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 doctored video. video. From Pelosi's office to the media propaganda machine. I'm really baffled how anybody could take these people seriously. Every single one of these networks is lying about the video Trump tweeted out and are trying to conflate it with what Giuliani tweeted out. Every single one of these networks is saying the exact same thing word for word. And every single one of these networks spread the lie that Trump called illegal immigrants animals using doctored video. I don't recall any of this hand wringing or outrage when NBC got caught editing 911 audio tape of George Zimmerman to make him sound racist and to incite racial tensions. Curiously, they weren't outraged at themselves when they got busted trying to incite racial tensions by editing video of a black man with an AR-15 at a town hall event. They cropped the video so you couldn't tell he was a black man and then claimed that it was an angry white man who was upset by a black man being in the White House. Or how about when they edited video of their hero John McCain talking to the mother of an Aurora shooting victim? They chopped up the video in such a way that it made John McCain look like he was being a jerk to this mother when in fact he was being very kind and offering condolences. They did this to the same John McCain they now pretend that they always loved. Obviously there was an edit between the end of the woman's question and the part where John McCain uh, sneers the straight talk line at her. So. You know, maybe that edit was cut in a way that's not fair to John McCain. There's no doubt about it. Our media is as corrupt and vile as anything George Orwell warned us about. But we can chip away at their credibility and help inform people by sharing and liking this video. We cannot let them get away with these con jobs, especially when their main goal is to silence all their opposition. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.